Once again, here's Sean Kennedy, the fucking man, on Rant Radio. Hi, Sean, I, I have to tell you something. I really care about you and you're a good friend, but I'm afraid I just can't be more than that. I just, I really just want to be friends. You just want to be fucking friends, bitch. If I wanted to have more friends, I'd buy a fucking dog. Women today, I don't really understand what the hell's going on. You take them out, you have a good time with them. If you don't treat them like utter and complete shit, they brush you off. I don't really know what it is. I'm thinking that what you should do is when you meet a woman for the first time, you take her for coffee, be nice. Next time you talk to her, sum up the courage, punch her right in the fucking head. Because that is the only way they seem to be understanding this. I see it day in, day out. So do you. Think about the last time you saw a wicked, wicked chick. Last time you saw it. What was she with? She was with some piece of shit hanging off her arm. What the fuck is up with that? Are they intimidated by intelligent guys or they're just not into it? Oh, I don't like it. You're a nerd, bitch. I have six figures in my bank account. What is your damage here? Hey, he's really cool. Yeah, I'm sure he's nice and sweaty and hairy. And, you know, if you want to sit a beer on his forehead, that's just perfect. But other than that, you might want to consider your economic standing in the world. Love is not about money. No, not at all. But it's about life. And if you're going to choose someone to be your life partner, you better be goddamn sure it's better than just something between the sheets. I get people coming up to me every day, all day, asking me for advice on their love life. What the hell is your problem? Number one problem in people's love life is that they have no self-respect. They don't respect themselves. They just sit there and go, oh, well, you know, she'll eventually, you know, come around. She'll decide, excuse me, that's stalker talk, okay? Keep the stalker talk down. Shit like, oh, well, she'll eventually learn to like me if I, you know, just buy her this coat. She'll learn to like me if I, say, sneak into her bathroom. She'll learn to like me if I, like, kidnap her and do MK Ultra experiments on her. Okay, we're having damage here. We're getting into the Damon Cronenberg syndrome. And you know what? It doesn't change. It's not just young people. There's a lot of old people too. People who are like 45, 46 and decide, oh my god, I'm gonna die alone. So what? You always die alone. The other person doesn't die. They're holding you. They fucking live on. You're a dead motherfucker. You don't want to die alone? The Alcor Foundation. The Alcor Foundation specializes in cryonics. Hey, by 2020, you don't even have to fucking die. So never mind the alone part. And what's so bad about dying alone anyway? Some crazy bitch doesn't get half? Oh well, so what? Bottom line, get a life, get a helmet, get a fucking job, and get some goddamn self-respect. My name's Sean Kennedy, and I am the fucking man.